hi guys in this video we are going to learn what's meant by the fixed point and usefulness of fixed point as well as existence and uniqueness of fixed point so let's start with what's meant by the fixed point and also if you are new to this expert tutor channel please don't forget to subscribe it okay let's move to the for the session so what mean by the fixed point is fixed point if there is a function let's say there is a function called f of x with respect to x so here i have plotted that graph let's say this is having something sort of leaks this one x to the power n plus c actually i don't know what's this one anyhow it's going this graph is definitely not going to be like this but for this just an example let's take it like this there is a graph which is going to be equals to xn plus c so the next thing is how to find the fixed point of this function is here we are going to draw a line the equation of that line is going to be y is equals to x so if this line which is y is equals to x cut down in any point in that function of x that point is known as fixed point so this is the graphical explanation of fixed point so always remember if there is a function and if you draw y is equals to x graph and if those two functions meet at any points even at at least for one point we are going to call it as fixed point so how why we need to find this fixed point is for the iteration purposes if you need to find an approximation you can use this fixed point iteration method which we are going to learn in the later videos and also now that's the usefulness of that fixed point and now let's see well, how to prove the existence of fixed point if you have given some graph like this xn plus c how to find whether this is this graph is having a fixed point because sometimes let's say there's a graph so sorry for that yeah let's say there's a graph like this over here so if that graph like this definitely it's not going to have a fixed point so it's essential we need to find out whether it's the graph is going to have a fixed point or not so let's start with that so how to find the whether it's having a fixed point so existence of fixed point so it's very simple let's say there is a function called f of x or g of x let's say it is g of x and it should be continuous from a to b so that's the first condition it need to satisfy here the a to b is some points in x which means this inside this a to b interval that point fixed point we are going to check whether that fixed point is exist between the interval of a to b so if you take the interval from this as a and here as b definitely it should be continuous from this point up to this point so it purely dependent on the interval also if you take the point from this to this let's say this is c to d if you consider up to this interval definitely you are going to get the answer there are no fixed points in this so the first condition is it should be continuous from this a to b so the next condition is that g of x the value of that g of x so here i have drawn as f of x let's say it as g of x now so the value of that g of x should be lies between a to b which means in this point let's say there is a value let's say this is going to be g of a and this is going to be g of b this g of a to g of b the value between these values should be in the interval of a to b which means let's say a is going to be the lesser and b is going to be the greatest one so the g of a and g of b should be lie between these two values so if any function satisfy these two conditions between these any intervals there there will be a fixed point so that's the condition you need to know that it should be continuous from a to b and the next one is that g of x since this is continuous let's say that is g of a 
and its kite pg of x the x should be the range of x should be from a to b so from for all the value of x from a to b that g of x should be in the interval between a to b so that are the two conditions for the existence of fixed point so in the next video we will be doing some questions so you can get and understand uh, very clearly you can understand it very clearly and now let's move to the uniqueness of that fixed point so here we have learned the existence of fixed point which means there might be one fixed point or else it will be having many many fixed points in that certain region but now we are going to check whether there is only one fixed point so that's known as uniqueness of fixed point it's going to be having one fixed point between that range so how we are going to check is here we are going to take the derivation of this g of x and we are going to take the modulus it and we will check whether that's less than or equals to k the k value should be k should be less than one so that's the main thing so you can write it like this which means you need to figure it out the g dash x and we you need to check whether it's less than one so that's the thing if it less than one and also remember there's a mod function so if it's less than one you can directly tell it's only having one fixed point in that region so that's the main idea so i hope you have understood these things clearly so you need to figure it out whether the, there is a fixed point using this one so this is the you need to check the existence after that only you need you can check whether it's having only one fixed point or else it's going to have many fixed points for that you can do this test uniqueness of fixed point if that g dash x the modulus of g dash x is less than one less than or equals to one you can check and also here also we are going to take the g dash of x within the range of a to b so within the whole range you need to check the g dash of x and you need to prove that for the whole range of g dash of x the modulus function should be less than or equals to one so if you prove these two you can tell there is going to be only one fixed point between the range from a to b i hope you have understood in the next video we can learn another interesting question from fixed point thank you for watching